Hey everybody. <clears throat> it is a Thursday evening and uh, I'm Meg. Welcome to the Loven Stamps studio for our Loven Stamps premiere party. Very excited to share with you tonight a whole mess of cards. I have a stack of cards like this big and a bunch of papers, a stack of papers this big, and a bunch of embellishments. They're not quite as stacky. Um, along with a project that I'm going to demo for you using, very exciting, the new uh, hybrid embossing folder. So with the um, words thoughtful, thoughtful, oh goodness, we'll find it when we get there. Uh, anyway, it is really fantastic and you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna show you how to use it, how to make the most of it, and how to get really good results from it. So that will be um, our demo for tonight. And then, uh, like I said, I have a whole bunch of project uh, pre-made cards to share with you. So with that in mind, uh, why don't we go ahead and get started. If you are watching along at home, you might want to pull out your books and have them handy as we go through things. Uh, there are so many great new products. We have all kinds of new stamps. We have punches, we have dies, we have all the, all the things to coordinate. Hey, Kathy, I'm glad you guys are excited too. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I think um, I'm gonna start by walking through a little bit of the um, project we're going to do. And it is featuring two things, one from each book. So it features the, I love it when it's like the beginning of the catalog and I can actually like open this and show you. So it features the uh, softly stippled papers, which are here. You can see those. Um, I'm writing in my catalog. <laughs> so page eight in here. And then it also features the coordinating softly stippled stamp set and dies. And I um, am excited to, oh, Thoughtful Moments is the hybrid uh, embossing folder. And Softly Stippled Stamps are on page 64, and they are here. So really pretty. And one of the things that I love about the um, Thoughtful Moments hybrid embossing folder is that it gives you the chance to add any grading you want to a really beautiful stamp set. So we're going to take our really beautiful stamps and add greetings of our choice. And I'm gonna show you two different ways to um, use this paper for two totally different effects. So, all right, with that, I'm gonna switch my camera down and we are here going to get started. So I've got my new glass mat, of course, which is the um, mat that comes with the starter kit, if you choose, with the um, new uh, kit. Here you go. I just said the same thing like three times. So here it is. Um, it's talking about the demonstrator starter kit. And with the demonstrator starter kit, you have two choices, option one or option two. So one option is to get the glass mat, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it <clears throat> and its happy um, silicone mat and the uh, cleaning cloth that goes with it. And the other option is to get bonus product with your kit. So you can pick out an extra $30 worth of stuff. Hey, Corinne. So with our glass mat though, um, I'm gonna tell you it comes with these corners that fit um, on the corners just like this, or maybe I have them sideways. These are really just for shipping. They're not meant to stay on here, so you can take those off and set them aside. If you're gonna carry your glass mat around a lot, you might wanna keep them handy for travel or something like that, but otherwise um, you don't need them for stamping. That is for certain. So we've got a great glass mat service to be working on. <clears throat> and then we are going to uh, go ahead and do some stamping here. So I've got my um, cat, my cardstock cut. I have a piece of wild wheat and a piece to go with it. And then I have three little strips of this designer series paper. So let's take a look at the designer series paper here. It is the softly stippled and it is 12 by 12 paper. So I have this cut down to six by six because this is the way I do my designer series paper share. Um, link is in the video description if you wanna sign up for the paper share. But it is gorgeous paper. And one of the great things about it is that you can get really different, um, really different uh, feels by just mixing and matching the papers differently. So if you want to get a card that is just the pebbled path and blues, you can pick out papers here and use just 
those kinds of colors. So these go really well with the Pebbled Path cardstock, and you could do a card with these pieces here. Now, if you are a person who, um, like me, very much appreciates wild wheat, then you can flip them over and you can use the wild wheat Eclipso Coral side. And all of the papers uh, fit into this color scheme to give you really great options for mixing and matching. So I just have, um, oh, and then of course, when you do the DSP paper share, it comes um, from me, it comes with ready to stamp card bases. So these are basically six card bases here in coordinating colors ready to go with the six sheets of designer series paper. So you're gonna use what you have, okay? Nice bonus, no searching for coordinating paper. Um, Corinne asked, do you know where to find directions for the cards in the celebration booklet? And I will post that um, link for you after the, um, after the video. I'll post it uh, on the Love and Stamps Facebook page for sure so that you can get, if not the directions, it'll at least have the supplies for each one so you know where which stamp sets and which things came um, together to make those. So, All right, so I've got my half sheet of wild wheat here. I'm gonna fold this in half. And then I have my matte layer that is gonna fit right here on top. And you can do this card without this layer or with this layer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do with, and I'm gonna grab my wild wheat and my absolutely beautiful stippled rose. So this one you're going to see me use quite a few times. I really love it. And it is uh, really easy to use because it is so gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this here on our background paper. And then our layer is gonna go on like this. So let's go ahead and pop this on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And one of the nice things about the glass mat is that if you get ink on your surface, it just wipes off really easily with a cleaning cloth. Um, you can intentionally put ink on your surface um, to do things like techniques with brayers or sponge daubers or um, blending brushes. So now we have kind of a pretty layer there. The next thing I'm gonna do is take these three pieces of designer series paper and I'm just going to sort of artfully arrange them, okay? Then I would turn them over and put glue on the back and we're gonna pop these down. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is add a greeting to our piece. And the greetings here come from the Thoughtful Moments embossing folder. So this is a hybrid embossing folder. It comes as one item that you order and you get both the embossing folder and the die that cuts out the pieces. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do here, um, you can go ahead and you can cut these um, just without the brayer, but it's so much better with the brayer and I will show you a little bit of how that works. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your folder and the side with the little um, Stampin' Up logo on it, that is the side that you are going to color. Um, I'm going to take my Petal Pink pad and I'm going to ink my brayer. So let me give you a quick lesson on using the brayer. Um, this is the new Stampin' Up one and I am loving it. Um, it's got these cool feet on it here so that when you set it down on the surface of the table, the brayer doesn't touch the table, which is a really great way to keep it from getting a line or damaged um, or getting ink on things. And so when you ink your brayer, you are going to only ink in one direction. So what you want to avoid doing is setting your brayer down and going back and forth like this. Because if you can, like the extreme version, you'd see you'd only ink a tiny bit of your brayer. So instead, what you wanna do, um, I would do this on the table, but I'll do it in the middle of the air to show you, is you're going to touch your brayer down and roll it forward and then pick it up and bring it back and roll it and roll it and roll it. You are only rolling your brayer in one direction on your ink pad. And that way you are sure to get all the way around with your brayer ink so that you have even inking all the way around here, okay? Now, it doesn't actually take a whole lot, but again, I'm gonna set my um, piece down here on my uh, folder and I am going to go ahead and ink my folder. So what this is doing is it is popping ink on the top of my, um, the, at the top of the embossing, which is basically gonna get forced down into the little cracks of our, um, the cracks of our embossed image. So you'll see in a second. So I'm gonna set this down. Um, I'll just set it over here. And then I'm gonna take my die and I'm going to pop it in here, just right over the top until it snaps in. 
There you go. And you should see it snap. You should feel it. Um, there's no sliding in it. It's really right around there. And then I'm going to take my cardstock and I like to cut, if you want to cut all of these words at one time, you um, want to go ahead and um, cut your cardstock to five and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches. So once you've got that, it's going to fit exactly over all the die cut pieces and you're going to close your folder and trap it in there. Okay. Now this is what we're going to take to our die cut machine. So I know I don't usually do it this way, but I'm going to today so I don't have to put this under my machine. So I have my stamping cut and emboss machine. And when you use this, um, you are going to set your sandwich up a little bit differently. So I'm taking away, I don't wanna drop this and have it jump. Um, I'm taking away my uh, cutting mats and my little tiny um, adapter. So I'm only gonna use my um, thick plate and my cutting pad. And if you can't remember how this works, um, then just remember right here on the pad, it actually shows you, it's this last one down here, and it actually shows you exactly what pieces you want to use when you're using a 3D embossing folder, okay? So I've got my number one big mat, I have my die cut folder, and then I have plate number four, which um, plate number four is not included when you first get your die cut machine, so it's one you'll want to add. And the folder is happiest if you go ahead and put it through hinge first. <laughs> and then when it comes out the other side, uh, I'm gonna pop this back down here. We'll get our other camera going. And open it up, you get all of these die cut words and they are ready to pop out of your folder. So just like so. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, um, I know that it might be kind of hard to see. I have some here that I have not inked and I'm gonna show you the difference. It really does make a very subtle difference. I know petal pink is a light color and you wouldn't think it would make any difference at all, but I promise it does. It really, um, really makes the color uh, stand out on and gives a lot of extra relief to the dye. So <clears throat> really fun too, because you get, what I think there's 10, one, two, three, four, five. You get 10 greetings all with one cut. And so um, I actually just pop mine into my folder here and then I have a whole bunch of them ready to go. So here is, you make me happy with no ink on it. And here is a you make me happy with the ink on it. Can you see the difference? I didn't get it quite as well inked in the center there as we could have. Um, let's see, here's another one. Here is celebrate with no ink and celebrate with ink. Can you see how much clearer this bottom one is here with the ink on it? So um, highly recommend the um, getting the uh, ink and brayer onto your folder so that you have a really great um, really great set of contrast there. Oh, Beverly said the gray plate came with your machine. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we're gonna take um, our piece here. We're gonna grab one of these greetings. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, how about thank you, always a good choice. And then I'm gonna pop all the rest of these into my um, little baggie here, and then I'll have them all ready for the next time I wanna make a card. All right, now, <laughs> the other thing that we can do here is we can step up this card one more. We're going to add some embellishments, but before we do that, um, I want to go ahead and use the dies um, that come with stippled roses. So the dies for stippled roses include both the shape dies and the like accessory image dies. So these leaves and so forth and little flowers that are extras. Um, but you also have a die um, that you can use to cut out your image. So um, through the magic of television, I have already cut out this floral arrangement. So we're going to go ahead and pop this on here and we're going to pop it up instead of having it be flat on our card, just to give it a little bit of extra interest. So let's go ahead and pop this on here. And then we're going to go ahead and put it. So I'm going to put it right over where it was before. I'm going to bring those three strips back and <coughs> One of the things that um, 
I, I've actually made this card a number of times because I used it for a swap. So as demonstrators, we um, have the option to participate in card swaps sometimes, where basically I'll make like 15 or 20 of a card and then I trade it with um, 15 or 20 other demonstrators so that we each get a whole bunch of different ideas. And I love swaps and this, so that's where I get a lot of my um, extra card designs that I'm gonna show you and stuff on our video here. So uh, I've made a bunch of these cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my um, greeting on the top here and just pop this right here in front. So actually um, a really pretty card and we haven't even added our embellishments yet. So one of the great things about the um, Celebration Mini Catalog, it includes uh, both the stipple, softly stippled, um, softly stippled papers here, but also the um, opaque faceted gems. And so they are right here. Um, what's left, you can tell that I really like the uh, Calypso Coral ones, but they come in Calypso Coral, Pecan Pie, and Pool Party. Uh, and of course you can kind of you know, widen their color definition just a little bit here and there. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some gems. I'm gonna pop um, one kind of up here and then maybe a bigger one kind of down here below. And so I'm gonna add those to just dress up our greeting just a little bit. So you can see how fun that is with the die cut roses. <laughs> I have another version of this card to show you that didn't use a die cut rose, just used um, the one that's flat stamped and I didn't use another card layer. So kind of there's the little bit stuffed up version here um, with the die cut and the extra layer. So if you're looking for something a little bit more involved, then you can add those extra features to it. Um, but then I promised you that you can use this paper for um, other uh, themes. And so if you take the Pebbled Path cardstock, um, or Pebbled Path and uh, cardstock and the Pebbled Path and Pool Party side, you can make the same card using these colors where I stamped in Pebbled Path and then the Celebrate on the front is Pool Party. So another um, another way to use the same paper. So it's the same, I've got the same um, gems, I've got the same stamps, I've got the same um, designer series paper, the same hybrid embossing folder. The only thing I changed out was the colors by swapping which sides of the stippled softly or softly stippled paper I'm using. So now if you're not familiar with celebration, during celebration you get a um, an item from this booklet free for every $50 that you order. So this lasts for January and February. So kind of plan them all out. There's a lot of things here that coordinate with um, things from the mini catalog. Um, this like we're gonna come across this trusty toolbox that coordinates too. And then there's some things that are kind of standalone products um, that were are you know just things here from the um, celebration. So kind of like this Jungle Pals stamp set here, you can get a stamp set for free. Um, this is a die set that coordinates with Jungle Pals. Now you'll see sometimes in the book there's these little things that say free with $100 purchase. Um, those are going to be for a little bit bigger item. <laughs> and so you can um, mix and match your 50s and 100s um, to get different parts of it. And there's two more of the hundreds. So we're gonna come back and um, look at those just a little bit, but let me close up some ink here. And I hope that you guys are as excited about this Thoughtful Moments embossing folder as I am. So in addition to the Thoughtful Moments um, embossing folder, uh, hybrid embossing folder, there is another, and it is the um, Adoring Hearts from the Adoring Hearts suite. And so it is a folder here that includes these fun and very, very cute heart die cuts. And then there's a frame that you can pop in to cut out these elements um, at the same time, just like what we did <coughs> with our um, words here. So lots of possibilities and I love, love, love these um, new products. There is a stamp set with words and so forth that goes with it, but honestly, um, I don't know, I think the dies in the folder are the coolest. So this is gonna be my feature during the month of January. Um, you'll see four projects from me as video tutorials, and then there'll be PDFs available for these. And those PDFs are a perk, um, the, a thank you perk that I offer to people who place online orders with me during the month. So in January, you're gonna get tutorials, uh, PDF printable tutorials on using the Adoring Hearts and um, the Adoring Hearts hybrid embossing folder and the paper that goes with it. So uh, watch for those. 
And you also um, have access to those tutorials as a demonstrator in my team. So if you're thinking about um, becoming a demonstrator and joining, um, I would love to help you get started too. So, and actually already today, we've had a number of people who um, have already joined the Loan Samples family and um, added, added some fun things to their supplies too. All right, are you guys ready? I'm gonna move my glass mat out of the way so that we um, don't have our reflection here, I think. And then we are going to go through, we'll try not to drop it on the floor as it's brand new. Um, we are going to go through some samples. So I have here my Celebration Mini and we are going to, hey Joan, um, I'm glad you like those, Beverly. We're gonna go through here. So the um, watermelon, watercolor melon uh, card uh, stamp set, sorry, is in the new book and it is one of the things that is available with $50 order. And so I have some cards with this. This one is by the very talented Mary Ellen Stites. The um, watermelon itself matches with the modern oval punch, which was in the last mini catalog. So if you didn't get it then, you're gonna maybe wanna get it now, but it is perfect and it cuts um, both the full watermelon and the partial watermelon. So you just trim off the end. Isn't that a cute card? Uh, here is a card, this one's by Anna Masternet, and she used this um, as like a little, um, she used the leaves in watermelon. Oh, I think I have this here, yeah, watercolor melon. Um, she used the leaves in watercolor melon and then made like a little planter with it, which is really cute. And then this is that um, stippled, softly stippled designer series paper that we love so much. Um, our next card is by Terry Biggs, and Terry um, used the pieces here to go ahead and she um, did like a fussy cutting out. So we have like the rind and here um, with little seeds and all kinds of stuff. So if you wanna make yourself seedless watermelons, you can. Uh, it's just easier to recognize them sometimes with, um, with the seeds in them, so. All right, our next two cards are by Susan LaCroix and Julie Davison. And these are featuring paper um, here from the Sunny Days designer series paper. And Sunny Days is one of the celebration papers, and I have this one here. Oh, this is what the celebration bonus with the designer series um, paper share looks like. If you get the mini catalog papers from me and the embellishments, then you get this set of extra 30 papers and card bases for free as like the woohoo celebration bonus. So here's Sunny Days, and this is, um, these are the coordinating cardstock colors for it. And then these are the papers. And you can see um, just really, really pretty colors. I love the way these go together. And then the back sides with just a little bit different flavor, a little bit more <coughs> pool party and um, Lost Lagoon. And so here are those and then some really pretty card ideas um, to go with them. So, you know, just layers of paper. I think this is just a two by four um, piece of designer series paper, maybe not two even, maybe one and a, uh, look, I can use my glass mat to measure how much they are. Yep, two, two by four. So two, two by four pieces of paper with a greeting here over the top. Now these greetings are also celebration stamps. Um, let's flip ahead to find them. They are the um, here. They're from the um, Heartfelt Hellos bundle, a Heartfelt Hellos stamp set. And that one, too many things behind me, is here. And so you can see that they are perfectly sized to fit with a modern oval punch and um, some circle punches. So it makes it really easy to um, put them to work for you, especially pairing with such pretty designer series paper. <laughs> All right. So the next card I have to show you um, also features some designer series paper. The next designer series paper though um, has a little bit different feel to it and it is this flight and airy paper. And let me pull this out and then I'll show you a card idea with it. If you guys have a favorite one as we're going along, be sure to say which one is your favorite. I don't know if you have a favorite celebration choice already, which ones are highest on your list but these are the coordinating cardstock colors and then we have the flight and airy. 
And again, when you order this as a celebration item, it is 12 by 12 paper. These are just six by six because that's the size for my paper samplers. And these birds are gorgeous. Now I will tell you, I was not super keen on this from the catalog, <laughs> but when I got my hands on it to start cutting it um, and put together to show you guys, I got so excited. It is really pretty. And so here is a gorgeous card with this, um, which is by Michelle Grimble. And she um, did a really nice job of featuring this here um, on this. So basically picked her location and then cut out the bird and then layered this on here. This folder here is also a celebration item. It's gonna be in the very back of the book and check out these gorgeous colors. Ugh, so pretty. It matches a ton of different colors so you can get a lot of different moods out of it too. Um, that folder is this one here. It is the Softly Sophisticated Bundle, and you can kind of see, well, that's a little close for a camera, I guess. You can see that pattern there, but I love um, the way it just really um, adds that nice background. It's pretty classy looking, so. Oh, Beverly says the bird paper is her favorite. I knew it'd have, I knew it'd have some favorites here and there um, as we went through, so I really... I was, uh, I was, like I said, much more in love with this bird paper um, after seeing it in person, shockingly, uh, <laughs> than when I looked in the catalog. All right, the next one here is a stamp set. This is Cradled in Love, <coughs> which is a great way if you um, think you'll um, have good use for a baby set, but you maybe don't want to invest in one necessarily, pick one as your celebration item. This is a great chance to do that. And I have a card here by um, Carol Kalistuki, and she uh, used, on the front of it, she used the, <clears throat> I think, Places in the Heart stamp set, and then inside, she used our Cradled in Love and did this sweet, um, sweet crib here, which is a fun idea for a Mother's Day card. And love, love, love decorating the insides of cards. So, great choice. All right, you could even use um, little parts of this. You don't have to necessarily use the crib. You could use the tiny little elephants or things like that, um, however you want. The rug could be like something you put a cat or a dog on. <laughs> um, okay, then next we have the softly stippled paper, which I've showed you already. I'm gonna show you um, one of the cards that I did for this <clears throat> with the stippled rose paper um, here, so softly stippled, and those are three different papers. When a design is very neutral um, or not too busy, you can stamp right on your designer series paper. So don't miss out on that. And then this is the softly stippled roses um, that we used on our card here, except I inked them, um, inked that stamp with my blending brushes to have like some extra variation in the color. And that is hands down inspired by the designer series paper, which I've already showed you, but I'm just gonna show you this one. Here you go. You can see that um, nice uh, color variation in that stippled pattern. So really pretty. So there is another one of the, there's five um, celebration papers. All right, then we talked about the opaque faceted gems, very pretty here. And then the Adoring Hearts coordinating paper, it's called Most Adored. And this one <laughs> is absolutely beautiful and features um, gold foil and a sort of a limited color palette. So it's really uh, flirty flamingo, real red and white. And then the papers on one side are all foiled with different patterns. Um, there's some florals, some hearts. Oops, sorry, we're kind of breaking up for a second. Um, some sort of uh, marbles. And then on the back side, we have the um, really pretty um, flirty flamingo and real red patterns and plaids and stuff here. So, all right. So, oh, Leanne, which one is your fave? The bird paper? <laughs> uh, so another good choice. And this is one that I'll be featuring a lot of um, with our coordinating stamps and um, embossing folder. So that is going to be this one here, remember, that we talked about. So that is meant to go with this paper. All right, um, next I have, um, I showed you some heartfelt hellos already. The Trusty Tools coordinating paper is Trusty Toolbox, and I have a couple of these to share. Um, this first card is from Rachel Chamberlain, and I uh, love Rachel's use of this paper. Um, here she went ahead and used this um, big sheet of it in the background here, and then she cut the tools 
out of the paper. And so the dies match the paper, which gives you lots of great choices. Um, and then this card is by Kathy Gruby. And Kathy um, went a different route. She used the um, hexagon punch. And this is from um, the stamp set, I think, this dad. This is from the, oh, right here. You can exactly see what it looks like um, from the Trusty Tools bundle. And so we'll come to that when we look in the catalog. But again, really pretty um, cool cards and easy to make here for our um, for our projects. So, all right. So then moving on in celebration, <clears throat> we have the Jungle Pals stamp set and I have a handful of cards to show you with this. Um, this first one is by Karen Snyder and Karen, um, used the postage, uh, punch, uh, postage dies. So this is the postage dies, which are new in the other catalog and then layered on some cute little people, our alligator jungle pals. Um, these little plant backgrounds are also from the same. Um, this next one is by Mel Lampert, and she used the tree dye here um, from the Jungle Pals dyes and have a little bird there hanging out on our tree. And then this last one is by Jenny Miller, and Jenny had sort of the same inspiration um, and used the tree and then added a whole bunch of little animals from it and colored these guys in. So really fun to use these different elements on our, um, from our Jungle Pal set. So like, uh, like I said, this one is just in the celebration. You can coordinate, of course, with things from the main catalog or from the other, you can color them. Um, but the stamps and the dies are both here in our celebration booklet. All right, next page. We have um, the Softly Sophisticated Bundle, and I have a couple of cards with this one. So this first one here is by um, Betsy Kreider, and Betsy used um, the folder in the background to stamp, or to um, texture vellum. And this is the coolest effect. I love, love, love the way that comes together. And then the stamps is, uh, stamps are two-step stamps included here with the leaves and the floral separate. So that makes it really quick and easy to go ahead and get um, blooms and greenery in separate colors. And then uh, the next card is by Margo Richardson. And Margo used um, one of the new designer series papers from the other catalog, from the mini catalog. And we'll um, talk about that when we get there. I can't remember the name of it, but it's gonna pop up. If you know, let's say it. <laughs> um, it's gonna pop up when we do our walk through the reg regular catalog. Oh, Tanya says she's watching while she's baking cookies for Christmas this weekend. Ah, oh, fun. Well, this is a good, good thing to be doing on the side of baking cookies. <clears throat> All right, so there are two really great designs um, with the Softly Sophisticated, and both the Hello There and the You're In My Thoughts are included in the stamp set, so um, really pretty projects there. All right, then the last one is um, Detailed Dogwood, and I don't have a sample of this one, but you can look in the book for um, really pretty ideas. This is a very um, robust stamp set with a lot of a lot of rubber in it, um, so this one is one of the $100 items. It also coordinates here with the Petal Park Builder Punch, if you hadn't seen. So these little dogwood blossoms, these are going to coordinate here. <laughs> You'll be able to um, punch those out and add to this cute little, um, cute little piece. And if you look real closely, you can see right there, that's the dogwood, um, blossom that punches out here with our, with our punch. So, all right, you guys have favorites yet? I know, I know it's, uh, I'm, I'm love, love, love the stamps, but I'm kind of a sucker for the designer series paper. So, all right. Oh, and I didn't show you the trusty toolbox paper. Let me come back and show you this one. Um, so these are the trusty toolbox coordinating colors. So six, card bases, and then, of course, the designer series paper here to match them. There's that ruler paper that Rachel used, and then you can use the um, dies to cut out tools from these papers, and then the back side has um, sort of those mini patterns, which are so great for lots of, um, lots of different layering applications and so forth. So again, if um, these are 12 by 12 papers when you get them as a celebration item, but if you are doing the Loven Stamps Designer Series Paper Share um, and you get both the papers and the embellishment add-on, then you are going to get um, all 30 papers and 30 card bases 
of the celebration papers. So a really great way to um, have those. And then of course, if there's one you love, you can go ahead and get more of it um, by using it, choosing it as a celebration item. But let's go ahead and switch gears uh, here. And I have, okay, this is my mess of cards and so forth. Um, we're gonna go ahead and switch gears to the mini. So this is the January through April book. <laughs> um, so it runs through from today all the way through the end of um, April. And right here on the front, you've seen this thoughtful words dies. Um, these are, this ice cream cone is so darling. I'm really looking forward to that one too. So, all right, so let's start with some cards here. And I'm gonna open up here to um, the Be Mine Suite. And this one I showed you um, some cards for already. I don't know um, where my other card that I demoed back um, last month or the month before was. But here is the box that I made. So really cute little box. These are the Be Mine boxes and they're um, maybe bigger than you think. So they, they fit quite a bit of stuff and they just pop open and then um, hold themselves shut. Mine has a little bit of uh, tissue paper in it. Forgot that I put that in there. But then they just close on the front. And if you're looking for this um, trick here, uh, I shared this trick on how to use the hexagon punch to make a border. And basically you cut a two inch piece of cardstock and you slide it through the punch. So <laughs> if you need that link, let me know. But um, really cute with this um, B punch here, this Be My Valentine stamp set is so sweet. And you are of course going to need this um, because you're gonna need this punch as a um, word bubble, not just as a uh, B, okay? So here are a couple more um, cards. Now these two cards were ones that I made as part of um, On Stage at Home, which is a Stampin' Up um, demonstrator, demonstrator gathering online event um, that you could sign up for. And then there was a chance to get early product and chance to stamp together and do make and takes uh, virtually. It was a lot of fun. So one of the perks of being a demonstrator for sure. Uh, I have another Be Mine project to share. Um, this one is by Lee Miller. And Lee used the paper and um, layered here to make it kind of look like our bees are uh, floating here in the sky and use the cloud punch, which is a great way to, um, a great way to feature that cloud punch there. I just dropped the card. All right, <clears throat> so moving on from Be Mine, uh, we have our, uh, this stamp set here, but then we also have this sending love coordinate and Rachel Chamberlain made a card with this, and I'm so glad she did because she went all out and did the whole thing with the um, stamps and the dies and everything to match it so you can see the cool effect. So here it is. This is the um, die that makes the mailbox. There's a die that does this sort of textured pose, and then there's a die that does the little envelope as a dimensional item. So really, really cute and um, kind of a fun way to make the most of this. And I think that this is a piece of, yep, this is a piece of the Bee Designer Series paper. <laughs> if you peek inside there, you can see the bees on the back of it. Um, but there's a little envelope die here that cuts this envelope. So really very clever. And the grass die is included in there. Just a lot of great pieces. So thanks for a cute card, Rachel. All right. Uh, the next one we're gonna go forward is the Heartfelt Hexagon. So this is where I was saying um, this heartfelt hexagon edging, oops, edging right here is a really great um, bonus of this stamp set. So here is the edging and then the punch you can use to make um, like long tags and so forth like that. Uh, you can also use it for making um, just layers on your cards and stuff. This card is by um, Rita Booker and she layered some textured um, embossed cardstock and then some uh, of the greetings and so forth to go with it. So cute card. Um, the next one I'm gonna show you, I don't have any samples of Hooray for Surprises, but I think this is gonna be a fun one. So watch for this later. <laughs> and then we come to the Forever Love Suite. And I have, oh, I didn't show you the paper. Okay, I was gonna show you the papers as we go along. There's so much to show you. Okay, so let's go back um, to the B one and then I'll show you Forever Love because we haven't come to the rest of them yet. So here is the B paper with its coordinating cardstock. So lots of bright and cheery colors here um, on B Mine. And then the paper 
itself is 12 by 12. So again, this is only six by six because it's part of my paper share, but we have bees, we have honey jars, we have flowers, and we have all these fun um, mini designs here on the back, the honeycomb and so forth. And this is the paper that Rachel used to make her little envelope. So, all right, so that is Be Mine. Um, the next one is uh, Forever Love, and this is a specialty paper. Um, it coordinates, uh, it has fewer colors in it, so there is multiple um, of the same here. So this is Moody Mauve, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock, and Vanilla. And then here are the absolutely gorgeous papers for this. Um, lots of pretty peacock patterns and then this pretty one in Moody Mauve. And they are, this one reminds me of Beauty and the Beast somehow. Does that, like the roses, I think? It just feels very Beauty and the Beast to me. <laughs> Maybe I have Disney on the mind. Um, and then on the back side, we have these really pretty petite patterns. Um, they're just very elegant and I feel a little bit Victorian to me. Um, in some ways, or like sort of a country, uh, country chintz kind of thing. So the front is super beautiful with the gold foils. So um, that is the Forever Love paper. Um, there are also um, die cut cards that you can get to go with it. They have that pretty laser cut on them. And there is, to go with this, a an embellishment. So the embellishment that matches this one uh, is this. They are this here, you kind of get the size idea. They're a little package of the um, foiled gems, and they are in petal pink and pretty peacock to match those cardstock colors. So you can see how pretty those are going to be together. So, um, and again, if you want to get samplers of the embellishments, you can do an embellishment add-on to the um, DSP paper share, the Love and Stamp paper share, and you get half a package of each of these. So you have lots and lots of good ones to use without having to buy necessarily a whole package of each one. Um, and then backing up to our Be Mine suite, the Be Mine jewel embellishment things are these, uh, and they are enamel hearts and flowers, and they're very cute, and they go beautifully with the um, papers here. So <clears throat> makes for a great combination. All right, I'm getting my pieces all mixed up, so, <laughs> okay. So then moving forward through our booklet, we have um, some more cards here, um, or some more ideas here for these stamps and dies. And then comes to this brayering um, page here where I've already showed you um, our fabulous brayering technique. And of course the <coughs> cards here that we made um, with the um, brayer and this uh, Thoughtful Moments hybrid embossing folder. So. I cannot say enough fabulous things about the Thoughtful Moments of Boston Folder. Um, if you're looking at the samples here, you can see that they layered, layered, layered um, for lots of different um, choices on there. And then you can see how they kind of layered all these hearts and um, the inked folders for that too. So, all right, the next one I have is a card by Marianne Stites for Hills of Tuscany. And this one um, is a very pretty card. Um, she layered these elements here uh, sorry, layered these elements here and um, did just sort of a really pretty pink uh, sky in the background. I love her color choices uh, and the, the strength of the pretty peacock is just gorgeous. And this paper is the, this is the back of one of the papers, I think, from the um, Flight and Airy paper. So I think this is the Flight and Airy backs here. Um, which she used to just bring out the colors that she wanted to bring out in this pretty layered stamp set. So you can add buildings, you can leave buildings off. Um, these these um, sort of scene builder stamp sets are just so much fun. All right, and there's a new wild fern bundle. And then we come to perennial lavender. Perennial lavender has designer series paper. And so I will show you that. And it has embellishments. And the embellishments are the amazing gems. Pardon me. I'm not like used to talking for quite so long. <clears throat> and so the gems come in a couple different sizes and a couple different colors and they are very, very pretty and they match um, this designer series paper. So um, perennial lavender actually matches a lot of different colors. And so I've picked out um, six of the six of my favorite coordinating ones here to go into the sampler. So those are the card bases. And then these are 
the beautiful paper. So there's some very great detail in these. I love the crumb cake background, um, sort of like a um, nature, nature paper, sort of like a pressed paper kind of thing here with the way this effect works. And then the backside has more designs. Actually, I wonder if this is what Mary Ellen used. Mm, I can't tell. Maybe. Maybe she used this paper on her card. So anyway, I guess I'll have to ask her. But those are the um, perennial lavender papers and also very, very beautiful and the coordinating elements. So I think I have a couple of cards um, with these to show you. And the first one here um, uses the perennial postage stamp set. Um, there's actually two stamp sets in this bun in this sweet collection. So this is um, by Terry Biggs. And she used the postage um, die here on the front. And then this is a fun card here that opens up and has those extra panels inside. Really pretty. And so she's offset the fold so that you have just sort of this fun panel here right on the front. Very nice. And then I have a card here also um, by Kathy Miller. And Kathy featured the hexagon punch here to just do sort of a repeated um, a repeated shape uh, idea. So featuring the designer series paper. <clears throat> All right. Oh, Nikki says she loves the lavender set. I know it has been so popular already. I'm just really impressed. These butterfly die cuts, I don't have one to show you, but they're very pretty too. They are um, butterfly paper accents. They're uh, cut ahead. So all you have to do is pull them out and go ahead and use them. So there are those two stamp sets. And even if you <laughs> aren't super fan of the lavender, this perennial postage die set, um, here you can see all the pieces in it, um, it is going to be a really, really, really useful. So um, that would be a great thing to add. Plus it has that little um, canceled postmark thing in it. We have an Easter lily set, which is beautiful um, lilies. And then we have excellent eggs, which is um, a great, this one is by April Booth. And April um, made an egg collage here and used this paper, which we'll come to. This is the Lighter Than Air designer series paper, and it's a perfect match for Easter. And there's no bunny like you and our little um, Easter rabbit inside there. Super cute. So I love the way she mixed and matched those eggs. Um, on the next page, we have more eggs. This is the Everyday Details. And this is one, um, this is also by Betsy Kreider. This is another one where um, the stamp set's beautiful, but the die set in my book is the huge winner. <laughs> and so here's Betsy's card. The die set has these amazing dotted shapes to them. So there's rectangles, there are circles, um, there are a variety of different backgroundy shapes, but you can see how nice and large these are and how um, they really come together to really bring the focus into your design. And this is an absolutely gorgeous stamp. So um, Betsy did a really nice job with that. And then the paper here is the light and airy paper um, from the celebration. So, and then here's the inside. Betsy always does beautiful insides of her cards. So really pretty layers there, so. And then actually this is, can you see this background, this dotted background here? This is from the same um, folder. It has our same die set. It has some um, edge pieces and those are a really um, a really fun accent to use too. All right. Bear, blueberry bunches, which I'm sure we'll see very pretty things from. Cake fancy, um, flower cart. And then we come to the lighter than air suite, which has dun -dun -dun, gems and dun -dun -dun, designer series paper. So let's take a look at this. Um, the lighter than air paper, this paper actually is six by six inches. So when you order this, it will be six by six. And the paper share papers are also six by six. These colors make me want to go eat sherbet. I don't know. What do you guys think? Sherbet fans also. So it has these um, papers here that match the balloons and then backgrounds for pretty patterns. The coordinating cardstock colors that I've picked are just a really nice set of pastels. So that is a really pretty accent paper there too. Now, if you're looking at um, the designer series paper share that I'm talking about and you're wondering how to sign up, um, you will want to pop into the um, description uh, here and there's a link in the video description to go ahead and sign up for that. Or you can go to the Logan Stamps blog and look for um, a recent uh, post in the um, posts will be in there. So here's a cute card. This is by Jenny Miller. And I love um, the way she put these baskets and pieces together so you can really see 
how those come together here from the um, hot air balloon stamp set. So dies and stamps and all the pieces here to coordinate. So, all right, <coughs> next, um, filled with happiness. This is the modern oval punch coordinate. So that's a really fun one. Um, love this moment. If you are into scrapbooking or memory keeping, this would be a great choice. Um, the ice cream swirl bundle, which I will definitely be showing more stuff with. Uh, so watch for that in things to come. The Enduring Beauty mask set, which has another whole set of techniques to go with it. And stamps, masks, uh, brayering, sponge, um, or sorry, blending brushes. This is going to be a really fun technique set. And so I will definitely be sharing those with you during Maker Mornings with Meg. And then we come to Nature Sweetness. And this one has its own designer series paper. So I'm going to bring this out. And it has these fantastic cork dots, which I think I showed this morning. And these are dimensional, so um, they give you a chance to add just an extra fun element. And the colors for this are pecan pie, pebbled path, and basic white, because the papers are just fantastic um, with all the gold foil here on the front. And then um, the patterns on the back side. And the um, papers here on the back side then have a really fun um, set of, you know, pecan pie and pebbled path and different patterns and so forth. But then the gold foil uh, is just gorgeous on the front. So I do have a project to share with you for this one. Um, oh, and wait, I have some other stuff so that, yeah, this has the cork in it. I'm, I think I missed a couple of things, but we'll come back to them. Um, so this is a project featuring those uh, pieces. This is one of my calendars. Um, so yay to our, all my stampers um, who got these in the mail. So um, fun thing to just hang out and put on your, put someplace handy so that you have your calendar for the year. But just really, I loved the greeting in this, um, sending, just sending a little bit of love your way. So a fun sentiment. And then just, you know, strips of designer series paper make this really an easy one to use. So, all right. So that is nature's sweetness. Um, my friend Betsy always likes to talk about how brown is a color. It is not just a neutral. It stands on its own. And the nature's sweetness bundle definitely represents that. So um, this um, ah, faux leather trim here is really fun too. It's very dimensional and it's it's just got a great texture to it. So. There are two stamp sets included in there. There's the Notes of Nature and the Lovely and Sweet. And then we have the Memory Pages. So if you um, haven't tried the um, Memories and War kits, I highly recommend just giving them a try. You can use them for cards. <coughs> they even have envelopes that coordinate that you can get with them. Or you can use them for um, Memories and War um, card packs in the Memories and War albums with the little page protectors. So. Um, let's chat, a cute stamp set, this doggone friendly, oh my gosh, um, this one is going to be a huge hit, I am absolutely sure. So many people um, love the dogs here, and this um, stamp set is just, it's a big background stamp, so that gives you an idea on the side. So lots of really fun ways to use it. Um, Planted Paradise and the mini alphabet dies will be handy. So if you're looking at this here where it says for max at the top, those are the die cuts. And you can see this alphabet die here. Um, I think I talked about this on a video once, but I cannot wait for this um, to use this one. It is all one die, so you cut out a whole lot of letters at once, and then you just pick and choose the ones you want to use, um, which is so, it just feels so efficient. So, and here it is, they used it on the thanks here under this planter in this very cute planted paradise. All right, our next suite is the Just Kidding Suite. And this one features designer series paper and some gems. So these are foiled gems. And the paper for this um, is very uh, sort of primary, secondary color. It's very strong, playful kind of thing. It feels a little bit like crayons to me because the papers are all featuring um, different kiddos and different activities. So this one's all about reading. This one's all about pets. Um, all kinds of pets. There's a super cute um, dachshund there and a kitty, a bunny, puppies. Um, this one is all about art 
um, paper crafting and so forth. And this one is all about um, sort of outdoor play, so wagons and hula hoops and so forth. Uh, this one is all about make-believe and this one's all about cooking. So each paper has its own little sort of happy place. And then the back sides of the papers are cool patterns. Um, there are a couple that have like a, this one um, has like uh, scenery on it. So you could cut this and use it like on a card and have pieces. But the dies cut out some of these characters or you can fussy cut the characters and then it just has these really nice strong um, card bases to go with them. So a really cute set. Um, if you are a person who thinks you might have some kid cards that you want to send, but not like a ton necessarily, this is a great one. You can get the designer series paper and you really have a pretty endless um, amount of choices. So again, this is 12 by 12 paper. I'm showing you six by six because it's part of the um, paper share. So, all right, moving on to our next page. Um, we have that stamp set and then we have this brighter skies, um, bright skies. And this card is by Julie Davison. Um, I love her very simple, elegant, um, balanced cards. And so here is that one. And Julie used um, the stamps here in the background and then um, this uh, hexagon shape, octagon shape. Wait, one, two, three, four, octagon shape. <laughs> um, and then the gems here from the Celebration mini catalog. So those are the opaque faceted gems from Celebration. So lots of different ways to use this. There are lots of shaker card ideas included here. Um, so a kind of a fun one to use. And there is designer series paper to match this. This is the um, Sunny Days designer series paper from the Celebration Mini. So it's meant to coordinate here with the Bright Skies bundle. <clears throat> so watch for more ideas on that one from me. All right, two punch bundles. I am a sucker for a punch bundle, especially one with punnies. Uh, you are sublime. <laughs> Just floating by to say hi, sending oceans of love. Um, and really, like, how could you go wrong with the cute little uh, characters with their scuba things on? So super fun there. And then this other one also is a punny, uh, punny punch stamp set. And it is, holy cow, milk it for all it's worth. Um, all kinds of fun. What's moo with you? And then, of course, the punch here to make the um, elements here for the cow. So you can stamp and punch the cow. You can punch the paper piecing pieces and piece the cow. But then here's that circle again that I told you about um, with those uh, circle dots all the way around the edge. So again, a great die cut set to look for. All right, rock and roll. If this is familiar, it's because we used it this morning on Maker Boys with Meg to do a fun Z filled card. We used the um, elements here. And then I have another card here by the very talented Kelly Sheridan. And Kelly's card um, features the same um, stamps and so forth here. She cut this guitar um, out of the designer series paper. So let's look at that paper here really quickly. Um, so this paper is all black and white, but of course you can brayer it or color it or add whatever accents you want. So I've got um, cardstock here to match it with the um, black and white and then the um, paper itself. So lots of uh, sort of rock band music um, and then some uh, easy to coordinate black and white papers here and then on the back so some um, neutral patterns and so forth so lots of good opportunities to use for that and I love um, love the uh, dies from this set the guitar pick and so forth these lightning bolts they're all included in here and then of course it has its coordinating um, lightning bolt uh, embellishments to go along. So, all right. So then, oh, my stack of cards is falling over. Here we have trusty tools. And I showed you these cards earlier as part of our celebration um, cards. So again, this is by Kathy Gruby and Rachel Chamberlain. And so you can see um, the dies and so forth that they use to cut out elements from the paper here in Rachel's case. Um, and then the stamps here from the set and then these fun like torn ends just as a perfect match here um, like Kathy used. So good ideas there for making the most of that bundle. And then if you are um, an Illini fan or I don't know, there's other color, other schools that have orange and blue, I suppose. Then here is a great card um, that um, Kathy or er, Carol uh, Kalstucky made. 
um, for our swap. And I love the um, gold foil um, background here and the way she um, featured the, sorry, the way she featured that folder there, it's that um, twisted rope one. And it looks like tassels as you kind of look across there. So really fun. All the hard work was worth it. Um, we, where I live is the University of Illinois and their colors are orange and blue. So that is a uh, great one. Plus, um, oh, I like the inside of your card, Carol. That's really cute. Uh, plus, um, our high school colors are orange and blue. So we have lots of orange and blue things in our, in our, um, family this time, this graduation time of year. So some really cute beach day stuff, cliffs by the ocean. Um, and then we come to our, I think this is our last suite. This is Poetics Expressions. And this one has also been a huge hit already. And again, this is 12 by 12 paper. Um, I'm showing you six by six as part of our paper share, um, but really very pretty patterns, very elegant and classy. And the colors are just fabulous. So again, one that you can do a lot of mixing and matching for if you want to um, sort of change your color scheme um, or if you aren't a huge fan of one of them, you can just use the other side. Here are the coordinating colors to match. So lots of good choices there for that one. Now this one has a coordinating um, embellishment also. Most of the sweets do. And this one is loose champagne dots. So let me open these up so you can see them. And so you'll get half a package of these um, if you get the embellishment share with the um, designer series, embellishment add-on with the designer series paper share. So they are flat on the bottom, which means you can add a little dotted glue or whatnot to um, get those stuck down on your project. All right, so next page is featuring another stamp set. Um, this is the Thoughtful Expressions, and then we have Quiet Reflection, which is very pretty and um, <laughs> just a great heartfelt stamp set. Um, you're on my mind, so sorry for your loss, uh, and or just a beautiful set of sentiments. So. Um, here is a card done by Kathy Groovy um, with this stamp set too. So I love, um, this is all one stamp. You don't have to work hard to make the reflection. You don't have to figure out, you know, how to get the colors to show up correctly on top of each other. You just have to stamp it. Um, it is ready to go here um, just in a stamp set. So really pretty. And then she stamped the inside to remember is to give life to those we've loved and lost. So um, really important sentiments to share with people. All right, then we're going on to the next page. We have stippled roses, which I have already showed you. Um, here's my stippled roses, stippled roses card. Um, again, with a um, softly stippled designer series paper. And I loved the way the gold accent butterflies really set this off. So um, <laughs> a fun idea. And then we have inspirational sketches with really cute, um, really gorgeous nature prints. And then after that, we have the summary of everything. So that is um, the mini catalog in a nutshell, right? So <clears throat> I hope that you guys have had a um, good time looking through all this stuff tonight. Uh, I hope that you have your wish list that you're working on. Remember um, that there are three bonuses during celebration. One, uh, you can get um, to participate in celebration and get um, the sort of shop version of it where you get an item from this mini catalog um, with your order for each $50, you can pick a different item. Uh, there is the host bonus. If you host a qualifying party or you place an order that's large enough, um, if you have a long wish list, uh, if your order um, or your party is at least $300 and you get a bonus $30 worth of product with your post benefits or your stamp rewards. And then of course we have the join special with that awesome glass mat. And um, as we go on, you're gonna see more and more ideas for this glass mat. So I'll share more as we go along, but the glass mat and the uh, silicone mat that goes with it. We used this when we were doing some um, embossing paste things. And then the um, cleaning cloth, the chamois, the um, larger, thinner chamois, that's just really convenient to have handy. So. Um, so lots of great things for celebration. So this runs through the end of February. This catalog here runs through the end of April.
okay? So um, just remember that the things in here that coordinate, so like the softly stippled paper, um, that trusty toolbox designer series paper, um, you can get the stamps and dies from here later, all the way through the end of April, but the um, papers in here are gonna disappear by the end of February. Now that being said, the celebration items are all while supplies last. So if this is your number one thing that you must have the trusty tool paper, um, then be sure to prioritize that on your shopping so that you get that early and you don't miss out because once things sell out from here, then they really are gone. So um, again, like bright skies, don't miss out on that paper. If you really want it to coordinate with um, the sunny skies, just coordinate with the bright skies, um, stamps and so forth from here. So. Uh, we have some time. You can paste just a little bit. Think of things that you might want early um, for Valentine's or, or so forth. Um, and you can um, go ahead and prioritize those too. So there's a host code and a supply list for the projects that we shared today in the video description. So you can pop on over if there are things that you're ready to get. Um, I would be thrilled to uh, get you Loven Stamps Perks points for shopping with me and PDF tutorials for um, my thank yous that I offer to customers who order in a month. If you're thinking about doing the um, starter kit, then rest assured that you also get um, access to the Loven Stamps tutorials when you're done straight ordinary groups. So, all right, everybody, I hope that you've enjoyed this walkthrough. I have managed to keep my voice for all of it pretty much here. And uh, so it's been fun to visit with you and share some ideas and talk about new products. Cause right, who doesn't love that? Um, remember the last day to sign up for the designer series paper share is January 12th. So don't miss that. Um, if you sign up earlier, your paper may come earlier. Um, sometimes I do it on a rolling basis. So don't wait if you want to go ahead and do that. The way it works is you're gonna use the link in the video description um, to pop on over fill out the form to request an invoice. I'll send you a PayPal invoice. And then um, when your PayPal invoice is paid, then your spot is confirmed. So we'll just wrap that up by January 12th so that you get your papers sooner rather than later. Um, if you have any questions at all, as always, please let me know. Um, leave a comment, send me a message, all the good things. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, doing this walkthrough with me tonight. I always find new things in the book when I walk through with you too. I like looking through and like, oh my gosh, no, I didn't know that was in that stamp set. So um, it's always a joy. So, all right, well, that is uh, us for this Thursday. So as we would say at Maker Mornings with Meg, uh, happy pre-Friday to you. And then I will be back on Tuesday next week with another Maker Mornings with Meg. And we're gonna start into our um, Adoring Hearts tutorials with more um, brayer techniques and so forth uh, on Tuesday. So Maker Mornings with Meg is Tuesday and Thursday mornings. We're into se uh, season four now. I've decided we're gonna cut season three and make it season four. It doesn't really mean anything, but um, episode 425 will be on uh, Tuesday. And um, I've enjoyed every one of those episodes and sharing projects with you. So thanks guys. Uh, see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy stamping.